Hey, Adalo Makers. I wanted to quickly go over a feature of our uh, Adalo 2.0 responsive apps uh, builder. Um, let's look at quickly the uh, screen switcher. So on every single screen in your app, you'll now have this little icon up here. Um, it'll show one of three things, either a desktop, a tablet, or a mobile view. And this is really just a preview of what your app is going to look like and how it's going to perform on these different screen sizes. So um, if I click on desktop view, which is what I've got now, you can see that uh, this is kind of how it's going to respond. If I click on tablet view, you can see that the screen gets a little bit smaller. And then if I click on mobile view, uh, it gets much, much smaller. And I even have some kind of wonkiness going on with this component that I don't really want to have on others. Um, and this is because of custom layout, uh, which is out of the scope of this video. We've got another video on custom layout and how to use that. Um, but it's really important to note that uh, when you're using the screen switcher, uh, your app is going to respond uh, and show you exactly what's going to happen uh, on those different screen sizes. Um, and another way to do this is if you click on the label for your screen, this little home uh, kind of button here, you can actually grab the edges of your screen, the left and right edges of your screen, and you can drag this and make it really any size that you want, right? Um, and if you want a specific size, you want to see how it looks like on a specific size screen, you can select the entire screen, click on Edit Styles, and then you can control the exact pixel width and pixel height of the screen uh, that you're working on. If at any point you need to reset the screen size so that you want to kind of get back to the uh, Adalo defaults, you can always go back to the screen switcher and just go back to tablet and then switch it back to desktop to kind of get to uh, the appropriate desktop screen size um, or to the mobile screen size, whatever it is that you're one wanting to preview there. All right. So that's kind of the screen switcher. It's super handy for quickly previewing what your app is going to do and how it's going to behave on different screen sizes.